The longi. The longi. The longi, you see, it's working. It's making coffee. Toto cookie. Happy New Year! <laughs> wasn't that heavy but I'm super excited to check out this new DeLonghi coffee machine everybody here knows that I love Nespresso I've done my reviews there's not a single pot of Nespresso that I have not liked except maybe one I'm not gonna name it it's fruity it's a flavor profile thing just not for me but sometimes you like that smell of fresh grinds in the kitchen I know I do so I think it's time not to upgrade What's the supplement? This is the unboxing of the DeLonghi. True Brew, I forget the model name. It's pretty awesome. Couldn't help myself at the store. So here we are. Uh, for the record, DeLonghi is not paying me to endorse this. I've just seen it a couple of times amongst friends. So I'm really curious to get this going. Let's unbox this bad boy. We'll take a break and then we'll come back and try to brew up some beans for you. Maybe grind them too, because this is a self-grinding, top self-grinding machine. I don't even know what the term is for that, but here we are. Yeah. Okay. Don't need that. All right. Uh, ah, descaler. This is great. Pro tip: just use bottled water or heavily filtered water, or if you have you know water dispensing jugs, use that water. It's gonna you know it's great. You should still descale, but it won't you won't need to nearly as often if you're doing it with just regular tap water. Regular tap water is fine too, but then very much pay attention to this process. Google the videos, there's training videos on YouTube. It's a thing. Uh, that's the power cord. All right, let's see. Instruction manual and a scooper. Okay. Ah, speaking of using the right water, looks like this. Looks like this. What is that? This. It's not broken. Water reservoir. Yeah. All right. All right. That's neat. square. That's out of my head. Got a large head. In case anyone's curious. Don't need that. It's a little heavy. Small people, I say, get some help. Breaking stuff. Ah, that's right. So, a little known fact you buy this one at Williams Sonoma, it's a little bit more expensive, but it comes with the carafe for all those big coffee parties you're going to have whilst enjoying coffee. Oh, this is a big one. All right. It's a little heavy. I wouldn't say it's exceedingly heavy. Ooh. Ta-da! All right, I really have no idea what, thing is, what this thing is supposed to do. All I know is that it comes with some self-grinding functions, gets some beans up in there, kind of differentiates out. Ah, well it's neat. I think this scooper my bobber, you're able to do a individual cup of different coffee compared to the beans that are inside of the hopper. So very exciting there. Uh, I'm sure there's more things to break apart off the top. That's your cup holder, literally. I mean, let's grab a cup, see if it fits. Oh, ah, sorry for the noise. Oh yeah, look at that. Coco Pelli gonna get Coco Pellier in this thing. All right, that's not bad. Does the pot fit? Pot fits. All right, uh, what else? I think there's technology in here that allows you to pull the grinds out, but I'm not 100% sure how or where that works just yet. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing set up, maybe run some hot water through it, kind of get some of that uh, factory dust off of it, and uh, we'll come back. We'll, we'll check how the hopper hops and 
see what the magic is to get the... Oh, well, all right, I guess that's cleaning. Yeah, where the magic button is to empty the used up grinds. Uh, all right, so we had it unboxed. We've been using it for about a week, week and a half. This is an awesome machine. It's clearly 5.17 p.m. wherever I am. So wherever you are, who knows? Hopefully it's breakfast time and you've purchased one of these and you're able to actually enjoy the splendor of everything that it is. First and foremost, this giant carafe is amazing. Full, what is it, 24, no, 40 ounce carafe. And it keeps hot for over an hour. I don't know why coffee's sitting there for over an hour. Everyone should be drinking it. But uh, very, very impressive. I mean, come on, it's a really basic carafe, but it's, you know, the whole... Yeti, Stanley, whatever that brand tech is. I don't know who DeLonghi works with to get these, but this is an awesome craft. It works cold too, which is even better. So that's super neat. We're gonna leave that over here for a second. Uh, my favorite thing about this machine, obviously, is the fresh beans. I won't tell you what we're working with in there right now, but it's a pretty good coffee. We might do a review of it at some point. Uh, it's the top grind, you know, coffee per, per cup coffee grinding mechanism. That's what we bought it for. It's pricey, but it's still totally worth it. My opinion, uh, it is a perfect complement coffee maker to the old Nespresso. If I'm doing only espresso shots, even though, even though, check, come check this out really close right here. There's multiple selection points for sizes, starting with, let's see if we can get it working. Come on. It's going to take a second to warm up. So as it goes ahead and does that. Yeah, all right. Nope, oh, still warming up. It's fine. Totally worth it. Right, so a little bit of the functionality behind this. Obviously, water pitcher. Again, use filtered water, pro tip. Try to use it as often as possible. Distilled water works even better. Uh, but straight regular tap water is going to create a lot of scaling to the internal mechanisms. And you're going to have to run that cleaning process a whole, whole lot more often. Uh, just my experience, two cents. Love that. Love this for all the different cup sizes. I mean, come on, guys. Let's, let's go out to Dunder Mifflin. Shout out Michael Scott. Too big, right? Awesome. There you go. Right there. Prevents drippage and splotchy and all that stuff. It's even better. You can go smaller cup. Hello, cup. Hello, puppies. Woof, woof. Super small cup. I don't have an. I don't have espresso espresso cups because I never drink just one espresso. But as far as coffee cups go, whole lot of fun. Multiple sizes plus that giant carafe, forty ounces. But check it out. As simple as picking your size. Forty to three to eight to twelve to sixteen. Just super neat. Uh, I've been keeping it around the eight to twelve ounce the last few days. The long pull, three ounce espresso, it's really nice, but it's a feature of this machine that I think is really neat. When you come over here, you get to pick your type. I usually go bold. We've had it, you can over ice, so they'll do a less high heat function inside of the machine. Don't know the tech, truly don't care. It works wonderfully. So again, typing over. Here is what's really neat about this machine is you can add in a pre-ground coffee into this little slot right there. It doesn't pop out. I mean, it does to clean up, right? But you just put it in there, and it'll accept whatever it is. So if you have someone who really wants decaf, you just take a little scoopy scoopy, throw it in there, set it to this, and let it rip. So that's a neat feature. Uh, I haven't tried that yet. I should get to that eventually, but why? I like bold coffee, so I'm just going to use the grinding part. Uh, like I said, you can go all the way to light, gold, kind of like a medium roast or medium strength, I guess is the way that we would put it. To bold. I'm gonna leave it at bold because I think we're gonna have to have to. Sorry, we're gonna have to brew a little some something, something for the camera so you guys can see how it actually operates. Uh, functionality pretty easy. This setting button right here couldn't be easier. You hit the settings, ask you what your time frame is. We're gonna keep it at PM. We're gonna keep it at the time that we're at. We're gonna run through audio. It's gonna talk to you or it's not gonna talk to you. I don't like notifications usually, so I like that they made it as easy to turn off the sounds. I'm gonna keep pressing through. Temperature. You can actually stage the temperature of this machine to the different to three different levels. One, two, three. Three being the hottest possible cup of coffee, which is what I usually do because it takes me forever to get through that cup with all the work stuff that's going on, right? 
but we're going to set it to three. We're going to skip to the next thing. This is a pH button. I really, I got to look into what this is. You know, comment in the, in the comment section below. Let me know if you guys have had use with this, if you care about water pH after you do the test strips. So that, you know, again, I guess it's a whole coffee factory science thing. Doesn't matter to me. I like bold, strong coffee, so maybe the pH helps. I wouldn't know. Maybe I'll experiment with that. Maybe I won't. But it does green. One, two, three, four. The machine comes with like a little pH test strip thing that you just, you know, check your water and you they tell you whatever range you have to put it in. I just know that this is the filtered water that I've used in the Nespresso machine for forever, so I'm going to stick with this. I'm good with it. Uh, I think I had it at three. The cups have been great, so I'm going to modify it back to three. I'm going to let it go, and then the machine kind of just does its thing. So, yep, that's your settings, and it comes back to the on position. Uh, for kicks, right, we're going to open this up really fast. Cleaning it couldn't be easier. Could not be easier. But, oh, man, that is a high reservoir. This is the coffee reservoir. i got to actually take this and spill it out. Y'all can come with me into the kitchen if you want. We're going to go over here. Don't mind the dishes, guys. It's a, it's a thing. It really is. It's just a self-cleaning mechanism. So this is where the water catches. And uh, it was about to get over full. So i got to be sure to double check on that moving forward. Clearly, been used. Still super clean. I love it. There it goes there. This is the coffee pod extractor. So I guess what happens is, if you come with me over here and take a look inside, this fun mechanism right here is on a little bit of a lift elevator, internal elevator or raising mechanism on the back side. Uh, you can push to pull it out. I don't want to. I don't want to break it. Um, catch, catch other people's videos for this. If it works for me right out the box, that's all I really care about. So there it is. Uh, I guess what happens is coffee grinds up here, comes down to this part, and then it uh, kind of goes on a weird slant. It'll slant upwards to then kind of work with the water uh, injector to pour the coffee. Uh, let's just demonstrate it. It's going to be a little loud. It is on the louder side of machines, but that's never really bothered me. I mean, we could literally do a side-by-side -side of how loud this coffee maker is. We're going to go with a three ounce just for fun, and then we'll, we'll see the loud meter on the Nespresso too, but you know, Oh, it smells really nice. It does. It smells like a coffee shop. Yeah, it's good. If you like that fresh ground, fresh brewed coffee smell, this has really been doing it for me in the morning for the last couple of weeks. Uh, and I could not be happier with it. You could, I mean, the cream is in there. The crema look, you know, the oils are there. It's frothed. It's, it's, it's very, very nice. Uh, like I said, this is a boulder coffee that's in the grinder at the moment. Pardon me. The co-star is going to finish talking. And that's that internal cleaning right now. See, see what's happening? That's hockey puck or the little uh, coffee puck that gets created that, you know, infuses through the water, gets shoved off into the coffee ground uh, receptacle. Yeah. I'm not going to do that. Right, so as it was empty previous, now we see a bunch of grinds all up in there. So that's what the machine does. That's what it's, you know, kind of... Oh, see, and the reservoir is already filled, full with... Uh, little cleaning action, which is great. Whoa. Oh, man. A little sweet and low, twist of lemon, just a little bit, something? No? All right. Uh, I can't be happier. The Longy True Brew 
It's a great compliment to your whatever you have. If you don't, if you're not a big coffee snob and you're looking for a brand new machine and you're trying to upgrade for that fresh brewed cup of coffee every time, highly recommend it. Belongi, great job. I look forward to seeing what you do in innovation for this type of machine because, again, at the price point, I think it's very fair. It is a little loud, but I'm not going to complain. The smell of the coffee in the room, the taste is awesome for what I was looking for. And there we have it. I'm going to put this to bed. And I'm going to do something with this so that I can actually get to bed tonight. Cheers, everybody.